What? That's intentional. I have like 40 more pages left in this Dragon Age book. Actually, about 50 pages. Yeah. So the book is doing something really interesting that I, I didn't expect and I still got, you know, again, 50 more pages to go, but it seems like the climax has approached and gone and, well, I don't know, we'll see. But it's actually something that's kind of interesting and I really wasn't expecting that. And that's that, imagine if, like, the Lord of the Rings quest, you know, something on the level of, like, a Lord of the Rings quest, but imagine if, 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 uh, the Fellowship of the Ring uh, ended in like complete and utter failure like on all levels <laughs> this one's kind of fucked up. Yeah. You play Geometry Wars? So you'll, you'll know the rig. I am awesome. And thanks to you fuckers, I have to play the grudge now. I blame Asian Sensation for this one. I think he's going to have to scour the FAQs to help me. I brought it up like once, and Asian Sensation asked y'all to vote. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't going to start this game, but this chatter, the Wii Player 44, has told me so, so forcibly, that I'm terrified and trembling. Let me start the game now. I think I'm gonna get rid of this golem, dude. What? You want the golem? I realized that, like, he's kind of funny and he's like a really useful character, but I'm in it for uh, for the real characters. I don't know. I think I'm gonna make Morgan an arcane warrior and have her uh, have her just be a frontliner. Yeah, that's the thing. Wait, which one is this game? What game is this? <laughs> this one's weird. <laughs> this game looks incredibly cliche. What does that mean for a video game? Like, what does that mean? You're talking about like the fantasy content of the game is cliche? Because honestly there's not too many video games these days with like a pretty thick traditional fantasy setting or, or not just setting but I mean like storyline. And this uh... Well you say that Joseph but Bioware has made that game. Neverwinter Nights was sort of like this game, but co-op back in the day.
Jade Empire would be pretty cool co-op. I would love a Jade Empire 2. If, if, if that ever appears someday, I'd be like, I'd flip my shit. Even though Jade Empire 1 is by no means my favorite Bioware game, maybe even my least favorite that I've played, I think th there was a lot of potential there. Alright, what am I doing here? Killing orcs, all that stuff? Alright, we're gonna do that. Yeah, it's all <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right. So, uh, uh, this game is actually well. I mean, it depends on what you consider being cliche. I mean, what part of the game would you consider cliche? Because I think on the surface it's it's very Lord of the Rings, but there is a layer there that wasn't in Lord of the Rings. I mean, it, I think it does some interesting things. <laughs> I bullet on me. A layer of gray. I mean, a layer of gray. I mean, ha did y'all, did you, school, have you seen the scene? Like, the, the joining scene? The Grey Warden's, like, re recruiting ritual? Would, I can explain it. Well, so, yeah, I mean, you're just not too familiar with the school, so I understand. There's no good and evil in this world. Ow. Don't, trust me, don't, it's not this... So watch a little bit of the game, school. It's definitely not... The setting should not be what turns you off of, of the game, because... Uh, it, if anything, it's what they do with the setting that I find the most interesting about it. So is it okay if I explain what happened during the Grey Wardens ritual, or sort of how the Grey Wardens work? So the Grey Wardens are sort of like... This, uh... This, uh... This group of individuals, these, uh, this, this, uh, uh, sort of like a, a group of dudes, of soldiers, whose, whose, whose sole goal, by any means necessary, is to, uh, stop, a, stop the blight from happening, and, and to fight the dark spot. So, so let's say, uh, you have the fellowship of, of the ring. And you know, so their main goal is to is to kill, to stop orcs or prevent like an orc evasion from ever happening, which is kind of like what the Grey Wardens are doing. But the interesting part is the sort of by any means necessary. And okay, so 
since you haven't seen much of this game score, maybe some other people. Let me let me ex let me let me say. So on the surface, it's Lord of the Rings, where my band of guys is like the Fellowship, and then I'm trying to stop an orc invasion of these countries. Now let's say instead of like holding a council and finding out who wants to join, I I, I go to towns looking for people who I feel will be worthy, um, um, asking them if they want to join. And if if they if they want to, that's fine. Or you know, if if I feel that they're worthy, if if I feel that somebody's worthy, and I see somebody who who want to join, I have the power of conscription of forcing them to to participate in the joining, which is you know becoming a gray warden, even if even if they fight against it. Like I just have like by law, I have those powers because sort of the uh, the I don't know who it is who grants them these powers. Now uh, during this ritual. You, uh, you, you. Gray Warns have the abilities to battle like the the orcs. Let's say now, let's now. Th if those orcs, if if like during a fight, they can infect humans and like infect them with their taint, which will cause them to die. But that's this uh, happens to Gray Wardens because during the joining, the the initiation ritual of a Gray Warden, they drink the blood of an orc or a dark spawn. You know. And the thing is, if that person dies, if, if that person's not strong enough, then they die. Um, and if they are uh, strong enough, then they build up like an immunity to this taint, like of these quote or, you know orcs. And uh, so, so the Grey Wardens they have the ability to force people to be to participate in this joining, fully aware that they just might not be strong enough and they might die. And once once the Grey Wardens have already decided, if if so, what happens during the scene is you know you're participating in this ritual with two other people. The first guy he drinks it, he dies. The second guy. Uh, just says no like i'm not gonna do this so you know the the main the leader of the gray wardens goes over there and just kills him he's saying that's not an option at this point it, you either drink it or you die and he kills him and again these are the good guys these this is the fellowship of the ring and there's also the whole interesting uh um so so if, if, if again if we're making an analogy to like lord of the rings let's say like the fellowship is trying to to prevent something that hasn't happened in hundreds of years and people don't feel that that this fellowship really needs to exist so they have to again they they know that by any means necessary they have to prevent this quote orc invasion so you know they have to take steps to you know very utilitarian steps to prevent this even though there's a, a lot of people out there that that don't even think that what they're doing really has any relevancy to this world anymore. And I'm not going to get into like the the territory that the books covered, which is probably going to tie into what happens in the game. But there's a gray area on the other side as well, and just a gray area in the books to like how some of these gray wardens feel that they should best achieve their goal. Yes, the point of view is a person chosen by the Grey Wardens. In fact, all these people right here are Grey Wardens. Well, except this rock dude. I just kind of found him. Well, I'm a Grey Warden and this guy's a Grey Warden. I think I just found her too. But again, like, like, like they never present the Grey Wardens from a character's point I mean everybody in the Grey Wardens don't see themselves as what they're doing is bad they see it as a, like a duty that is, is absolutely necessary like a role that is absolutely necessary even if other people disagree but I mean there, there there's something that I think the game's going to do that's interesting that, that the books did and that's that I don't want to get into too much detail but there was definitely uh Something happened when they were down in the deep roads, uh, like, basically trying to stop a potential blight from happening, where uh, all of a sudden the Grey Wardens weren't exactly agreeing on on how things, like, how they were going to achieve this goal. And, and that, that involves some of them even aligning with the opposite side, or, you know, what could be considered the opposite side, or, or you know, at the time. But uh, the the most interesting thing, and I don't know if this is going to carry over to the game anyhow, but like I was saying earlier, it looks like 
this entire quest that is set up in the book is going to end in complete and utter failure, and it's not going to be... It's not, like, apologetic. I mean, it's not... Like... It's happening in a very interesting way. So like so like at the be- at the beginning of the second book again they have this quest to go to go rescue what are you watching Oh yeah 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 I like that one So so at the beginning of the second book the quest of this fellowship is to go down into the deep roads sort of like in, in like underground where where these dark spawn live to to rescue this guy or not to rescue him but to make sure that this gray warden who went down there is is it captured and given given the information to these dark spawn of where the uh, the the uh, arch archdemons are the uh, the old gods as they call them because he knows this information and they're afraid that he's going to tell it to them so their quest is to prevent that from happening whether it to be find this guy and kill him to make sure he doesn't have the chance of 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 like giving him this information or just you know somehow rescuing him and the cool thing is is uh, so the commander of these gray wardens as they go down there they're like uh, the, the, what they do is, is in the first book, the king of Ferelden, uh, uh, along with the band of other people, they go down into the deep roads during like like a wartime. Uh, during during wartime, they have to use the deep roads, which is sort of this underground. It, it, it used to be this this dwarven underground passage, but has now been taken over by the dark spawns. And uh, they're uh, in, in that first book, they have to use it to get to like during wartime to get to a destination really quickly, right? And uh, so, so what they do is the Grey Warns, they go to this king in the second book and they say, we need your help. We need you to lead us into this, the, down into these deep roads because we're looking for this person. So he agrees to, and uh, so the commander of the Grey Wardens, and again, there's no, he's not necessarily a good person. Something happens at the end of the second book where like his sort of very plucky, sarcastic attitude, sort of, he's just forced to change because he realizes he has to make decisions that are best for the country and not necessarily... The decisions that are... And I don't want to go into too much detail. But basically, what the commander of the Grey Wardens tells uh, this other Grey Warden is that when we're down there, because like, like, cause they're down there on this vision that the commander of the Grey Wardens had, that this guy is still alive and that he's in captivity. So that's why they're doing this quest. So he tells this other Grey Warden that if things go wrong, and if my visions prove wrong, and if we're down there, this guy's not actually still alive, or if this guy's not actually... Uh, or if 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 our predictions are wrong and we're not actually down here preventing a blight, even though we're like we're good people, you have to kill this king. And I know we don't do bad things, but it's more important that this king dies and doesn't come back to the surface to t- let people know that the Grey Wardens kind of fucked up because their their main goal is the preservation that what they're doing is right, and they need to make sure that people out there don't think that what they're doing is wrong or pointless. So again, some pretty interesting utilitarian gray area. That kind of shit didn't happen in Lord of the Rings. Again, too, uh, like, blood magic is forbidden in the in this in the world of uh, you know Dragon Age, um, you know it's a very dangerous type of magic, and the Circle of the Magi forbid it. But but the the Grey Wardens they will allow like one of their members to to you know use this type of magic if they feel that it can benefit them. And again, I don't want to go into the detail of why that's a dangerous thing or a potentially bad thing, but it's just it's kind of cool. Uh, this sort of uh, uh, gray area kind of thing definitely is a part of the story. Wait, what do you mean? It's part of the game itself. Well, what is the game game in in, in in this? Like, for example, I could choose to become a blood mage, but I hear that a certain character that that I can recruit is not happy with that. And from what I understand, if I'm going to become a blood mage, I got to make sure she doesn't know because it can have gameplay ramifications, like very drastic ones at that.
Well, in terms of gameplay and the choices I make, it's more tied to... Uh, uh, well, see, I'm, I'm not too far in the game in terms of story. But, yeah, I mean, certain people have their allegiances and their own goals and their own, like, beliefs. And my choices might conflict with another person. And on a more, like, significant level, it could cause somebody to completely turn on me and, like, who stands on what side of the, uh, of that confrontation is completely determined by, like, the choices I've made in the game. But, I mean, even if you're not into the... I mean, I'd say this game is still worth playing even on a pure, uh, just RPG grind, like, just for, you know, the, the way the combat works and the sheer amount of options you have in battle and the way you level up and customize a character and the the freedom of how you can, like, sort of explore and tackle the world. It's very non-linear. Um, I think it's worth playing for that, even if you're you're not absorbed into the lore of the world. I don't know. I, I don't feel like you should need convincing. This is sort of Bioware doing what they do best. Again, the the console is probably not the best way to experience it, but uh, you know, don't not buy this game because yeah, the graphics are underwhelming. I don't like elves that much. I mean, if you own a PC that can run this game, I I I'd say, like, without a doubt, this is a must-play. I mean, if you have the console version and, and you can come to grips with, like, the somewhat, like, more awkward user interface, then by all means. Got me with. Oh shit. This is not gonna end well. Fuck, I was getting up. God damn it. I think my rogue's gonna make it. Sorry, my strategy is very much centered around the fact that my my mage is still alive. And there's a decent amount of challenge, which is good, considering Bioware games uh, have been very have been fucking jokes over the past several years.
And if you, the game is a lot harder on PC from what I hear. Basically, I'd say if you've enjoyed, if you enjoy RPGs or like, I mean, it's just, it'd be silly not to get this game. But that's just my opinion. And who knows what, oh god. Okay, so he's... Ah, Christ. You get so much fucking loot in this game, man. I'm gonna level up my guys.
shit like that. I don't need these fucking dog biscuits either. playing Dragon Age in a sleep. Why would she say that? She really? probably have physical resistance. See, I don't even know. Like, is ten m mental resistance? Nah. So the, apparently the there's a layer of here using gloves. Ooh. Ooh. Never pass up a pile of rags. Nice. 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 Whoa. Massive damage to dark spawn. Hmm. Maybe I should. Well, I'm about to fight werewolves. So. Nice gloves, dude. Plus 20% to cold damage. Boner. No, I don't need that. Ooh, a gift. Ancient elven armor medium armor. I think I'm gonna put that on a... Uh, put that on a... Uh, what's her face? Hopefully she can wear it. Oh, she can't wear it. Oh, it's the strength. Mm, 22. What's her strength at? 
Fuck, I'm not gonna be for strength. But I need that, that's good armor. Because it gives dexterity. Eh, it's not that much better, to be honest. Uh, what does plus two to armor even mean? Kills are fatigue. Well, what does fatigue determine again? Your stamina in battle? Like, would that give her extra stamina in battle or less stamina in battle? Higher fatigue is bad, right? It causes more fatigue? It's heavier, yeah. well, she already has stamina problems. See, that's, that's the problem with rogues. Their fucking stats distributions all over the fucking place, causing them to be somewhat mediocre, stat-wise at least. Oh, oh. Fucking A, what good are you to me if you can't open a fucking chest? I gotta level these guys up, I apologize. I gotta put points in the strength for this. Bro. Well, that's pretty cool. The warrior's unwavering courage grants bonuses to damage, physical resistance, ailments. Oh, well, you can't pass up a passive like that. Alright, who need, else needs to level up? Shell? Shit, I haven't even thought about him. What I'm gonna level up him as damage dealer, I guess. I don't know. If if you like to get into like a nitty gritty fucking uh deep ass lots of Shell can't specialize. Oh, can he do warrior specializations? Damn. I guess we'll just go strength. Killing blow. Shell concentrates all remaining energy into one tremendous blow. If the attack connects, it's an automatic critical hit, but Shell's remaining stamina is drained and added to the attack damage. After learning this talent, Shell gains a greater bonus to damage whenever pulls or blow is active. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that either. Well, that's not that good. I mean, part of the... Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, wow. Look at that. Maybe I should be... That's a passive? Whenever Stone Aura is active, Shale gains a bonus to armor. Party members within the aura receive additional bonuses to armor, health regeneration, stamina regeneration, and spell power. Holy shit. So all these just beef up this aura. Shale activates a support mode that imbues nearby party members with bonuses to attack, defense, and health regeneration. With other talents in chain, Shell gains bonuses to armor, to 
resist hostile spells and party members. However, the aura paralyzes shell and imposes a personal penalty to defense as well as draining stamina. Okay. I was like, this seems overpowered. Jesus. What's the point of this? It's just... I don't know. So this is basically like giving him this aura and like like all of these are just making it insanely crazy aura. So you basically just stick him in the center of combat, turn him into this fucking rock that does nothing except creates this like badass buff aura. And it looks like with this one actually... uh Enemies who enter the aura suffer penalties to movement speed, attack, and defense. It's just like a strategic rock placement. That's actually pretty cool. See, I don't like the sound of that either, though. I'm just going to do this bravery also. Still seems like it will be less effective later on in the game. He's that, what's it called? What do they call mm, it? No, I didn't think so. Oh, fuck. And Fire Emblem? They name it after a specific character who was like that in the first Fire Emblem. Who's really, really overpowered when you get him, but because he's already a high level and he wasn't like leveled well that by the time your other guys reach reach his level he's like really underpowered and Fire Emblem always has a character like that oh shit I forget what it's called a Jagan yeah that's it I think Shell might be like a Jagan I could do that for you sorry why say it if you can't? Kind of a whole thing to do. I don't understand. Where is the entrance to this? What am I not seeing? It says... Here? Motivate. Champion inspires allies to attack with renewed vigor. The rally talent now increases attack. So... I need to seek out specializations for some of the other characters I plan on using. Is there like a pal like a Diablo 2 style paladin specialization? F with a bunch of auras? Yeah, I already have the Arcane Warrior thing unlocked. I don't know if I want to be an Arcane Warrior, though. I might gump shell, become an Arcane Warrior, and have Win as a... as... or no, not Win, Morgan.
ask y'all about specializations after I'm done here. Because I'm curious as to what Leliana should become outside of a bard. And same with Alistair, which I mean, it's just whatever a good tank is, but with with specializations, you could probably be have even cooler stuff. And a shell can specialize. <laughs> Why can't I? Come on! to apologize I'd like to have a proper funeral for him maybe once this is all done if we're still alive I don't think he had any family to speak of by the way Duncan is the one who was told to kill the king if things went south which I still have 50 pages left so I don't know all I know is that the king is not alive in this game He had you! I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid. No, no, sci-fi chick. I'm talking about the former the king. Battle. I feel like I abandoned him. He saved your life by sending you to the tower. Yes. I know. I think he came from High Ever. Or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to I could swear to God I had this conversation with her already. I've lost enough to know what you're going through. Yes, I imagine you really have, haven't you? Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Anytime, Alistair! Alright. What was I doing now? Trying to loot some shit. Your fucking conversation got me all turned around.
play the game again, I would totally play a backstabbing rogue. Did you see this? Did you buy it before this? What? Mass Effect just dropped to ten dollars on Steam. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know if like you bought it. Okay. That's a really good deal. Damn. Why didn't this lady come and speak to me herself? We would not let her. We will protect our lady to our last breath. It may yet come to pass that you will kill the rest of us, but until then we will not chance her coming to harm. Oh shit. Then take me to this lady! It wishes to speak to these creatures? What is the point? We've slaughtered our way this far, what's a bit further? Yeah, I know. He's even glowing red. He's like that robot from Coach. It's never a weakness to seek out alternative shell. Fine. Arguing with that logic will just give me a headache, I swear. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the fade itself to see you pay. we've had this chance to talk. I must admit I was expecting another werewolf. No, that I am not. If I could have revealed myself sooner, I would have. <laughs> Do not listen to her, lady. She will betray you. We must attack her now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. 
I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. Rabbit dog usually oh. As we all, lady. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. How do you know what he has or has not told me? Because there are things that he would not tell. Things that you should decide for yourself, whether you need to know. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. And the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl he raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. That's horrible! Indeed they did. Zathrian came to this room and summoned a terrible spirit Binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. So the Danish leader misled us. Are you really surprised? You? No, just trying to picture his little elf head squishing. Ah, there we go. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Oh, until I found you, my lady. You gave me I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Are we lagging? What's going on?
that they'll deal with it. Can I make a sandwich? Jeez. You need to say hi. Um, <laughs> I can't do a deep in office voice. You mostly do a high and obnoxious voice. I could do a deep in office voice. <laughs> Someone tame up the time out that fucker. Which okay, uh no I got it. Well what uh Okay, lag is gone. Refresh, guys. Right. Why did you ambush the Dalish for revenge? In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so we must end the curse to save them. Please, Mortra. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Wishes to cure his own people, nothing else. He will never break the curse, my lady. He will never allow it. You know this. We cannot know that. Surely his rage does not run so deep he would endanger his own clan. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfan. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfan is never found. Tell Zathrin this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. And what if there is no way to break the curse? I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way that he dies, then they all die. We shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Oh. Get over yourself, school. Just pretend like, like, uh, the werewolves, the plight of the werewolves is like some sort of allegory for some other oppressed, uh, uh, culture or something. Yes, the werewolves are Jewish people. Man, that's pretty anti-Semitic calling Jews werewolves. No, no, I'm calling werewolves... Hey, I, I, I killed your torrents. I, I didn't know if they were running, but are you sure? Because V was lagging bad and I closed your torrent client and... Oh, I just turned on my laptop, so I automatically started. Oh, uh, yeah, because yeah, V was crawling. What? Where did these guys come from? The oh, they, this is where they took me.
That looks like a tree dude in hiding. Lady of the Night, more like it. <laughs> Treasure pile. Really? All I get is a steel mace? I think I just pass. Sounds good, so that stunning blows. Alright. So I can't wait for the show tomorrow, guys. I got some new, uh, Cooking with Brad's items. I think you'll, uh, be, uh, who the hell is... Is this him? Oh, How convenient. You are Zad Zadaran, what are you doing here? You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. I don't like this one. Can we not simply crush its head? There was no way to tell what would happen. I don't like that character anymore. So I decided to come myself. I don't know. He lacks depth. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people have made that comparison, too. We need to talk, you and I! Yes, yes. I was not a huge fan of HK either, though, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't you like to know? So, you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the room? I sent to bring you back to the Lady of the Frost, or Forest. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? She won't summon Witherfang unless you break the curse. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Yes, I thought as much. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible. Serene and savage. Maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both. Two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. The curse first came first from you. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. I assure you, the werewolves have regained their minds. Even so. They are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Uh. Shit. Won't you at least consider talking to them? Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Elven. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. Uh, 
But it's your own people suffering now, as well as them. I have sworn to protect my people, and I shall. I will not lift a finger to help the descendants of savages who deserved the curse they received. So your answer is to let them suffer forever? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Shit. God damn the moral ambiguity. I might have, but who is being punished now? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? Yes, I will. Or, I will, unless you attack first! I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries. Let us see what the spirit has to say. them out of the situation. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. With if I'm an eye, are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. He's a blood mage! Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian. But that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! Huh. Uh, but I, I wouldn't... So how far will you go for your revenge? Zadagran? I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. 
Sif or Swift Runner is the problem. The number one sounds like you're going to stay on the side of my head kill. Number three and four sound like you're going to kill a bunch of people. The other ones sound like the bulls aren't going to die right now. No, one's probably good too. <sighs> okay. I'm looking at it this way. If I kill this guy, something tells me I'm gonna get some new sweet robes. And maybe a new staff, so... We're going with two. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Do I have werewolves on my side? Or not, he paralyzed the wolves. Alistair approves. Oh, and he has trees? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, Christ. Quad, get the fuck off me, man. Man, how is this shit fair? I didn't even get a chance to act. die for this perhaps I have lived too long this hatred in me is like an ancient gnarled root it has consumed my soul what of you spirit you are bound to the curse just as I am do you not fear your end you are my maker Zathrim you gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. 
Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end to the war. I guess he's not all cold and angry. Yeah, those humans were kind of... Were those the humans that raped that girl? What's this aura that was... Oh, those are just random humans, right? What, what did you end up doing, uh, sci-fi chick? Oh, by the way, y'all want to see one of my cool new abilities? Check it out. It's pretty rad. take my own health to restore my mana. It's a blood mage thing. Well, 
well, sort of like a blood ability that I learned. Not an actual blood mage. Uh, Yeah, I just fucked myself. Apparently I can't go back to the map from here. Honestly, I think a blood mage with an arcane warrior would be pretty useful since you can boost your uh, like defense so losing that health to cast isn't too much of an issue. Do I really gotta walk all the way through here? Christ, I'm going the wrong way. So did y'all see that we got nominated guys? I already specialized as a spirit healer. the ability to, to go arcane warrior I think how the fuck in the fuck do I get over there should I go spirit healer and arcane warrior or spirit healer and Blood Mage. idea how to get back to uh, the camp. see what the abilities look like because if there's an ability that's as sweet as a uh, this one then I kind of want to learn some more blood spells How the fuck do I get across this fucking fucking fuck river? Oh. Wait, no, that's not it either. I have no idea how to get back to camp. Camp portal? I 
tri je. Oopsie poopsie. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. He was a hero in the end! Lanaya! It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose. And we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Thank you, Lanaya! It has been a long time since the Dalish marched to war. But I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Oh, I guess she didn't care that I took the chest. Sweet. The fuck is this? We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to any. I am no. Ma If I go, if I go arcane warrior though, I'll be able to wear good armor and have a better chance of surviving. Selling the shapeshifter manual. Let's glitch it. We are working hard to make enough equipment. I am no.
fast. tired tonight guys. I'd have to call it early. No, I don't want to go there. Oh, not this guy. You did it, outsider. You saved us from the ravages of the curse, after all. May the Creators bless you, truly. But Zathrian is lost to us, after all these centuries. He died heroically, I hope. Yes, I believe he did. I would like a happy ending to his tale. He will be a role model for many Dalish children to come. Now, Keeper Lanaya prepares for us to enter into war alongside the humans. I never thought I'd live to see the day. I, for one, look forward to fighting against these darkspawn creatures. Do you now? Let's hope you return and tell us all about them. As for you, outsider, I expect I'll be telling tales about the Grey Warden one day, hmm? We just asked the Darkspawn to please leave. If you hope to slay the Archdemon with wit, you may want to arm yourself first. Mm. You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Wait, you doubt I'm really a Warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. What, you think you can do better? Yes. Oh. 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 
Yes. Jerk. I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. Very well. As you wish. What the hell is that? serve best. Basic ones like elf root and deep mushroom. I'm tired, guys. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. The Chantry says we return to the Maker! And that is something to take joy in, no? character very short I think it's my stance fucked up. My, uh... Whatever, you know, it, it looks 
cheesy and people won't take it seriously because of the janky ass animations. Does that mean they just can't try something like this? I mean, if it was like in 2D, like old school Baldur's Gate and somebody was singing, you'd be like, holy shit. Have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair? Oh shit. Really? It's so stubborn sometimes. It's very nice and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orlé. They involved flowers, ribbons, jewels. One year, feathers were all the rage and Lady Elise decided she needed to outdo everyone else and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. The chirping was quite charming for a while, but you must realize, terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. That's not Western Design School, and I don't like that attitude. I seem to have glitched my character where she's in a battle stance. Dear Maker! Yes, you can imagine what she looked like by the end of the evening. But I was trying to say something nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders so. It's just that I... I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. And I actually do like the way you ramble. You see? This is what I mean. You're such a pleasure to talk to. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. I really enjoy your company. <laughs> and do you often enjoy the company of other women? And what would you do if I said I do? Very much so, in fact. Oh, shit! <laughs> it's not like Subject Zero with the fuck context-sensitive fuck button. I gotta work at this. I gotta prod. Yes. I think I might giggle. Maybe look coy. Huh? You must do that then. Perhaps later when I'm not prepared for it. Surprise me. Oh Come shit! On. Let's get going. If I recall correctly, you have some important earth-shattering business to attend to. I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me. Safer. I know what you mean. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The dogs will never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. We are all entitled to a little silliness now and now and then. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen mostly. Sometimes I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find you still watchful. And I know you're watching out for me. You never have to feel afraid with me. What I'm trying to say is is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are a, a leader and my friend and sometimes I think that m maybe we could be more than that. Oh! Look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. Don't change the subject. 
Okay, should I tell her not to change the subject? How about we are more than friends? No, they don't want you to beat around the bush, or maybe she does. <laughs> I'm gonna make out with her vagina. All right. Well, what's gonna happen? Well, what, what, what do we do now? What? You're cute when you're embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just flushed because of the heat. I've always wanted us to be more than just friends. Really? N no one told me. You you felt the same way and didn't do me the courtesy of informing me? You made me say all these things. Why couldn't you have said them first? Oh, you... Oh, how very awkward. <laughs> oh, shit! I thought you were comfortable around me! <clears throat> well, yeah, but, but don't question me. I am a woman and I reserve the right to be inconsistent. Why am I being such a baby about this? I must be a sight spilling my guts. Oh, 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 oh. I can kiss her! Do you think it's too soon? Is, that, is it too soon in our relationship? I've only done one major quest after the world opened up. Maybe I should go with two. Maybe three is too soon. Get in there. <laughs> I'm still in battle stance. Our first kiss. I love. The oh shit. So when do we get to do it? Get out of your fucking battle stance. What the hell? Jesus. What? Is she saying I'm a bad kisser? I don't understand what she meant by that. The stars are out. Oh shit! There's still beauty to be found in this world. So? Go help Alistair make supper! <laughs> uh. There's still beauty to be found in this world. It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally. Their light undimmed. There is a story about that cluster of stars over there. Do you know it? Elindra and her soldier? Oh, enough with the stories. Let's make out. Tell me the story. A long time ago, there lived a fair maiden called Elindra. She had many suitors, but spurned them all for she did not love them. One day, Elindra was sitting by her window in her father's castle, singing and dreaming, when her lovely voice caught the attention of a young soldier. Entranced by her song, the soldier drew near to Elindra's window. As their eyes met, he fell in love with her, and she with him. When Elindra told her father about the man she had chosen, he was furious, for Elindra was high born, but her love nothing more than a common soldier. To keep them apart, he had Elindra imprisoned in the highest tower of his castle and sent her soldier to the walls. Alas, not a month had passed before news of the soldier's death reached Elindra. Alone in her tower, Elindra wept for her love and beseeched the guards to deliver her from this cruel world. 
So earnest was her plea that the gods themselves were moved. They gathered Elindra into their arms and lifted her high into the heavens, where she became a star. The gods also raised up the soul of Elindra's soldier love, and there he dwells, across the horizon from her. The bed of stars between them is the river of Elindra's tears, cry for her lost love. They say that when Elindra has cried enough, she will be able to cross the river to be reunited with her soldier. I'll never look at stars the same way again. This story is one of my favorites. A tale of a love so great and so enduring that it defies death and moves the gods to action. Sometimes I ask myself, does such a love exist? Can it exist? <laughs> Real love is a mix of lust and attachment, nothing more. If we, if we lose hope in love, then we are truly lost. I never expected you to say that. It is a pleasant surprise. I'm secretly a terrible romantic. Huh? Why is it a surprise? I have to say there is a certain severity to you. Finding a person behind that all is nice. Maybe you should let your softer side show more often. Sometimes, following your heart, not your head, leads you to remarkable places. Now I will tell you a story to your vagina. I'm here for you. <gasps> we need to talk. Of course. What will 